Hey YouTube, so today I'm coming to you guys with my thrift haul as well as tips for successful thrifting. Um, this past weekend I went thrifting and it was slightly out of control, but yeah, I want to show you guys what I got. But first I'm going to start with my successful tips or tips for successful thrifting. The first one is to go in with an open mind. When you go into a thrift store, there are millions of clothes everywhere and you might walk in like smell number one to all this stuff looks old but trust me you need to literally look through everything and keep an open mind you might be able to match it with something that you already have in your closet um or like revamp it in a new way so just go in with an open mind the second one is to wear fitted clothes when you go thrifting so when i went i wore black leggings and a regular black um thermal and the reason being is because when you're going through and trying things on or when you're going through and looking at things you can pull it off the hanger and actually try it on over your clothes without having to go in a room a fitting room and actually take your clothes off because that's kind of yeah I like to wash the clothes first so I just go in with my leggings on I could put it on see if it fits if not I could put it on the rack and keep it moving number three call ahead for sale offers call ahead to the thrift store that you plan to go thrifting at just to see if they have a sale so the one that i went to this past weekend had 50 percent off of everything in the store and reason being is because i had my sister call ahead to see um what they would have going on so that's really helpful because i saved a whole lot of money by doing it that way number four mix your thrifted pieces with your non-thrifted pieces so like i said before you may find something that's a little wacky but it'll revamp your wardrobe altogether. so you may have an outfit where all the items are store but and then you have one thrifted item that really sets your outfit off mixing your pieces make your thrifted pieces your pop pieces and mix them in with what you already have number i think we're on number five but we're gonna go with that number five eliminate at the end eliminate your items before you check out so what i like to do is i pick everything up when i'm walking through the store and when i finally get to the end i hang everything up and go piece by piece okay do i really want this do i really need this do i have anything like it and if not then i keep it and if I already may have something like it or I really don't want it, I just picked it up for the sake of doing it, then I'll go ahead and put it back. Especially if I have a cart full of stuff and I already have enough for the day. And last but not least, have fun with your thrifting experience. Go in, like I said, with an open mind, mix your pieces together and really just see what you can find. So now let's get into what I got when I went thrifting. The first item is this cute little polka dot shirt. Um, The original brand is... Andrea Jovine. I'm not familiar with it, but I really like this shirt. It's kind of oversized and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the dots on it actually are like 3D. Like they actually come up and I think that's really cute. Um, I'm not sure what I'll mix this with, but you could dress it up, dress it down, whatever. And it's short sleeve. So cute. The next item that I got is this pencil skirt and it has like an olive shine to it um, with a black undertone and it's about right below knee length um so yeah I thought this was really cute it fit a little big but I can make it work and mix it in um and I would definitely dress this up like if I'm going to church or a special event something like that the next item that I got is this shirt from apartment nine and it's a floral button up and it's super cute like you could wear it on date night you could dress it up dress it down it could be a work shirt internship if you're in school um yeah whatever it's super cute once again and i don't know what it is but i've been buying a lot of black and white clothing black white and gray so you'll see a lot of that throughout even though i do have some pop colors the next item i got <laughs> black again is a kenneth cole sweater and it's one of those sweaters that's actually short sleeve. Yeah. Pretty cute. You can mix that in with a couple pieces. Very versatile, basic piece to add to your wardrobe. The next thing I got was this little shirt. It's a chill shirt. It was like 50 cents. So I'm like, I'm not going to leave it there. And it's just a screen tee that says, is it Friday yet? And it's Bethany Moda. Let's go with it. Yeah, 
super cute and i'll probably just wear that around the house or if i'm running to the store i wouldn't really wear this with an actual go out outfit the next item is a basic black skirt it doesn't have a brand in it but um it's pretty fitted and it's about calf length and i actually was looking at forever 21 for a skirt like this the other day so when i saw it, i was like oh yes winning and i picked it up love that next one my sister actually picked this one out and i was like oh yes pass that over it's a ralph lauren button up this color is everything especially against my skin tone what <laughs> but um yeah it's a little big but i'm gonna work with it i could roll the sleeves up i could wear it with some tighter jeans um I, yeah i would wear this with a chill outfit so like some ripped up denim um maybe my tims uggs like something simple and cute and this would be like my accent piece to my outfit moving on the next item is this papaya shirt and i don't know why but this shirt makes me think makes me think about valentine's day <laughs> it has cage sleeves and back and it's nice and flowy all right next is this shirt from j crew it's like a white linen shirt um another one of those pieces that you could dress up or dress down but i'll probably save it for the spring since it is linen um and i could get more wear out of it then or more appropriate wear out of it then the next thing is this massimo blue sweater i love this color do y'all see how like bright and electric it is even on camera like everything yeah so um i would probably wear that with an outfit like i have on now like polka dot jeans yeah my pants just split but that's another story um <laughs> next is this row and d button up it reminds me of the apartment nine button up except it's just solid gray um it has some hidden buttons down the center two breast pockets and it's long sleeve super cute once again it looks like it costs a whole lot but it was like a dollar wasn't leaving it there next are a couple of basic tees like i've noticed that lately in my wardrobe i've been eating a lot of basic shirts especially in the winter to layer with cardigans or sweaters or to go under my hoodies or just for layering purposes so i really wanted to get a lot of basic tees when i went thrifting this time and that's exactly what i did so the first one is just a massimo regular black v-neck and i have like three of these but like i said i really been wanting more basic tees so i went ahead and grabbed that then i got another one from chico's this one has a print on it but once again just a basic tee it is a size zero so we're gonna see how that fits yeah this is a Sundance shirt. It's not your basic tee because it has this little piece in the middle, but it is a really cute long sleeve and you could wear it with just about anything. I'll probably keep it casual with this shirt. And then I have this plum colored basic tee, Marona. Um, just your basic tee once again. And then um, this is a Chaps tee. It's pretty crew neck boat neck ish um it's really cute simple but very cute and it's thick material like it feels high quality but i got it for about two dollars next is this gap long sleeve tee um crew neck and just a basic tee I, it was all about the basic tees this time y'all and then lastly i got another j crew shirt um plain striped shirt that will go with anything and a karen kane lifestyle shirt um beige and black stripes and this one was 50 cents as well so couldn't pass it up i'm like i already have two more striped shirts but then i'm like it's 50 cents so i got it anyway so that concludes my thrift and haul and the best part about all these items y'all is that I spent $19, like $19.01, $19, yeah I felt really good about that, I was very pleased with my trip and there will be many more coming so stay tuned and I will see you all in my next video, bye.